Well, welcome back to here in California, Russian River Bees in Northern California. This video is about nooks. We are building our apiary, so we had to get some nooks. And here they are. So this will be all about transferring into these boxes from these nooks. And here we go. Well, we gotta get this done today. So I gotta get my tools. And we're gonna go ahead and get this done here. It's gotta be done kind of quickly, but we'll take our time. I've done some already. Uh, I've done some splits here, and I've also had to get more bees. So this now is this. And I had one of these here also. Now we have bees here also. Ah, I guess they didn't like that bee. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's get to work. All right, we'll be real short here. In this short story. So we had to get these bees uh, because we have other things that we have to do immediately uh, to retain to retain our yards in places that we'll be going to put these hives so i had to put this here because due to the circumstances things have changed drastically so we had to immediately get these hives uh, and this is the end of the season to purchase hives um and that's the deal so i had to get them and now we're going to go one by one so let's do this okay let's put the camera so you can see nook that's what i'll be selling one day we'll be getting these kind of nooks just like this that ready to go okay so we're gonna put this in here so let's do it my fingertips be rolling on the fat and on the stage i'm like hey yo i want to and the microphone check next time when i got saw this me got and i do it like i'm got the phone and i'm out of here all the way got cheeky i'm down Clean the inside of this. You want to clean it, yeah? Oh, there's a hole here. Oh well. I guess they'll go through there. Oh, this is old equipment. So that's how that goes. But these are being born right now. We had a lot of brood. Three frames of brood in these boxes here. So you can imagine how much bees we have coming in here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take it from here.
they came in. Okay, because they got clusters. You want to keep that in the middle. Okay. So, that's the scenario right here. I'm just going to hit it. this one up spray a little sugar water on these it does a little dirty up to clean them. Put this and put a little sugar water on this. Look, the rats ate this. I'll still use it. Uh, maybe not. It's kind of ugly. This one's a little bent. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Let's go get some more. So that's how it works with these hives. You gotta, sometimes you gotta buy bees. For the circumstances that you are in and then you can build them up but sometimes you don't get to build them up sometimes you got to go right to production which i do i go right to honey production and that's the best way to go unless you're into splitting hives but not me not right now and splitting costs more labor sometimes so let's go ahead and put these in here whoop i killed the bee that's not gonna be good they probably want to beat me up after that put some more in here I like to get that cluster in the middle. I don't want them building anything weird. Okay, so we're gonna get this in here. Try to move this over. I can. See, that right in there. You know, I had a lady that went and visited uh, to put some hives on her location and 
She was into a different type of care. Like, in the, don't treat your bees. Uh, just leave them and they will do what they have to do. Well, sometimes that works and it does, but what happens, ooh, see that right there? You don't want that in there, look at that, see? You don't want anything with insects, okay? You wanna clean out anything that looks like it's gonna, okay, so. Uh, we're gonna spread them out even if we can. I used to have a spreader, I don't have it, that's okay. We'll work it out. Um, so that's it right there, I wanna put that there. Okay, that's the first one, so let's go ahead and uh, so the story, the long story, the long story short, you see, you want to make sure you clean these, huh? The long story short, you have to treat your hives. If you don't, it'll be more work for you uh, in the long run because then you have to take them apart. Uh, if they're, they're having a sickness, which is the mites, foul brood, uh, what have you, then you have to start working on that hive more. And you have to baby it and take care of it. Just like I'm doing that hive right there. If you go to this hive here, I haven't treated this hive, but I'm babying it. But there's nothing going on. They go one bee going in there. I don't know. They didn't stay in there. So this is like an ant in there. I don't know. It just depends on how you like the beekeep. If you're a beekeeper, don't want to treat. Uh, let me tell you a story. It's like having a dog and not giving it a flea bath. If you don't give it a flea bath, uh, then it'll be very difficult for you to uh, take care of your dog. It'll still be alive, but it'll look ugly. And that's what happens to the bees. So when that happens, you have to compensate for that. And that's the story. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close this one up. And then we have this one here. And I'll be right back to do the next one. Okay, so we're going to, on the second uh, nook here and transfer it. So the person uh, just had a different style of beekeeping. Uh, and that's just the way they do it. You know, they believe in not treating and uh, just letting the bees do what they do naturally. And that's okay to do. It's just if it's, your, it's your own interest. If that's, if that's what you like to do. And you have no problem when they die or they disappear or, or they get the mite level gets too high and you let nature take its course. That's okay to do. Okay, next one. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this one here. Same procedure. We're gonna go ahead and transfer them over and let them grow. So this whole lesson was about transferring uh, from the nooks to your deeps. Or your mediums, but you need medium frames. So that's pretty much it for today. I'm gonna to go ahead and finish this up with you. And uh, that's all that's going on. We have uh, 10 more nooks on board on this yard. And we'll be distributing soon to other locations. Just to start. Okay, that's it. Let's go get it. Keep them going for brand new bees. 